this is my tutorial for this explosion box that I made. This is the explosion box. I will leave the links to the video uh, in the description box below. The cake opens up like this. And you can put money for the wedding inside. You need 2A4 paper or letter size papers. That's a bit thicker. I use this white 220 grams, but that's in the Netherlands. So I hope you can find your own thicker paper. Of course, you can do everything uh, from a color. I only use white. You need uh, two magnets, some uh, taggy glue or art glitter glue, or I, I even use fabric glue because that sticks a bit, bit quicker. Some double-sided tape and some ribbon. I used a ribbon here. In the video, I will use a magnet, but I will skip that and use that. And in the video, watch it because the size of the box is changed. So please watch my screen because the right size is in there. Have fun with this tutorial. Bye. The first thing I do, I cut it at three inch and three inch again and we leave this on the side to deal with later. Then I score it at three inch from both sides. And if you do that, then you can fit this one on top of the other one. And I glue that on. I always use taggy glue. Just simple. You shall see it doesn't work. Well, not that much. I mean, that's way too much for me, but I just use my fingers to get it around like so. And I just glue this one on top of the other one and if you measure it right then it fits correctly like so like this then you have these two flaps left over and I have a cheat sheet <laughs> um, got the leftovers you cut them a three by two that is uh, this is already three inch because it came from the long side and you cut this at two inches I just do the first one first I cut it at two inch and then I score so I'm gonna score this at half an inch fold it over backwards so and then you have the first um, little uh, door, <laughs> the first little door. With the other one, you do the same thing, but what I do is I measure it out. So I just uh, put the door, the first door on the left. Then I measure this. I just put it against it. And then I measure where I have to score it. So, and then I score it on my scoring board, which is like one and a half, because it's three. And I fold it, and then I can cut off the rest from this. I just measure it out with, like, there you go, that's enough to put on. So, you just have two of those little flaps. That's what you do. With the um, the flaps on the bottom and now I see they are like this so you just glue them on the bottom so I glue this on like so just measure it out and glue it on straight you can't go behind this uh, fold so you have to fold it up to see to make it fit a little bit better like this because you want to always want to be sure that your folds can go up because it's a box and then you do the other one So I'm just going to put it a 
against that and then you have to fold so now you see that i have a little gap in between because i didn't measure it right but normally i'm more secure <laughs> than that but that's your first page layout on your box then the next thing you're gonna do is take the long strip that you left over from the other side those little uh, things that you uh, cut off are for stamping your text on so we put this one aside and you take your long strip and then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cu cut a strip at seven three four so seven and three fourth of an inch you're gonna cut the strip there so we're gonna do that I measure that out and I cut the strip like that you're gonna save this one this is going to be a pocket and then in length you're gonna cut the strip at one and a quarter so the big one is going to be one and a quarter that is one and a quarter here on my measuring machine on my cutting machine like so you're gonna cut that like this and that is your first cake this is the first layer of your cake then you have this one left over and that one is smaller shows on camera that one is a little bit smaller and that's your cake that comes on top this one uh, you can cut off at let me see you can cut it off at five and a half so i made the top cake five and a half you cut that off to five and a half so the first cake is seven and three quarters by one and a quarter and the second cake is five and a half and then the leftover so a little bit, a bit more than an inch well approximately an inch you again you keep this uh, scrap because you can stamp on it so those are the two cakes then we had this little pocket left over i'm going to see what i wrote down for that score the pocket at half an inch on the long side so we're going to start with scoring it at half an inch on the long side then you take your box again and I'm going to do the pocket over here. So um, fold it over. Like so then I place it in here. And then I can see where to score it again. Sometimes you can just um, flip it over. And just score it like this you place this up here and then score it along the side of your paper I think that's the better way to do it and then fold it back but you can see you get the <laughs> the thing that I'm doing I think this is what you get you get a pocket if you think your pocket is too high and that's what I think I'm going to uh, get it through my cutting machine to make it a beautiful edge but i will do that later i'm not going to glue this on because we want to decorate it first but then you already have the second flap decorated you have a pocket for that so from this first a4 you have the box you have the flaps for a decoration you have a pocket for the decoration and you have the two cakes now we're going to deal with the second paper clean this up the second paper is going to be the lid and the rest of the decorations. It's going to be something like this. So the first thing you do with the second paper is you cut it at 5 and 5 8 like this. So this is the length of your paper. I can hope I hope I'm totally in frame here. This is the length and you cut it at 5 and 5 8. You remove this part. We will deal with that later. 
and then you cut it again at 5 and 5 eighths. So your, your lid is going to be 5 and 5 eighths of an inch. What you do with the lid, you, we'll, we'll deal with this later also. What you do with the lid is you score it at half an inch. And I believe it was one and a quarter. I have to see this one. Yeah. You score it at half an inch and you score it at one and a quarter. So the first uh, piece of your lid is half an inch. The second piece is three quarters of an inch. And you do that from the outside of all four sides. So you score half an inch, one and a quarter, half an inch, one and a quarter, half an inch, one and a quarter. And the next thing you're going to do is to cut your lid. So what you do, what I do, <laughs> is... In these corners, I hope it shows on camera, yes it does, I first start with the outer edges and I make a little tabs on all four sides. So I just uh, go in like so on all four sides of the edges, right to the point where those score mark, score mark crosses. So I'm going to cut these four like so and why i do that is because then i do all the um cuts at once so i don't have to think at every corner or every side i have to think where do i have to cut it no i just do one cut on all four sides so that's the cut over here then we are back to the basics i always work on the left side so the next step is to remove all three edges from the left side. So we cut there and we cut there and we just uh, have to cut it square like this. So straight like that. So I'm going to start in this corner. I'm going to cut this straight off. And then I'm going to cut that one straight off to the other cut line. And then that is what you are left with. The only thing you then have to do is cut this as a, a tab. I do, never cut the outside. I always only cut the inside. So this one you cut straight to the score line. And then you cut it a little bit in an angle. So you have a tab. That's all you do. So next we are going to eliminate the corner like this this one and this one and then we have to cut this one straight and here at an angle repeat that on all sides so we're going to eliminate in this corner like so this corner I'm going to cut in straight always work on the same side so if you cut this from the left you always work on the other side also on the left side so you never have to think oh what do I have to do what do I have to do my brain is not functioning very well so I need these types of adjustments if you can you can just uh, swirl it around with <laughs> however you like but I can do that I have to be systematic because otherwise I'm going to mess it up. So this is the last one. This one was straight and this one is in like this. So then we have got the lid. This is going into the bin. Then the only thing we need to do is to uh, reinforce our score lines. So you just fold this one over. You fold the next one over. And you do that on all four sides, of course. And now the only thing you have to do is reinforce those small tabs inside. And how I, I first always going to decorate it. So I'm going to decorate this. And when you are uh, want to glue it, it's you glue these uh, tabs in. 
first, like you put glue on the tab, you glue it in like that. You fold this over, this little edge, you fold that over. Why do I make a little edge? Because I think it's sturdier. Plus, you can see like if it doesn't fit, if you, if the, you don't fold it very uh, easily, you can cut a little bit off of this piece so that it fits. So this doesn't fit very well, so I'm going to just cut a little bit off this one to make it fit. And I think it's sturdier, so your lid is going to be sturdier because of that half inch that you put on the other side. And that's how you make the lid. I'm going, first going to decorate it, but that's the easy way I make my lids. So that's the lid. Then we move on to all the other pieces that we have from that second uh, uh, piece of paper that we cut. So we have the box, we have a lid. Then I have a few extras. Let me see in my notes what I've got. The first thing I've got is uh, this piece that was besides the lid that we was left over. You need uh, a circle that for the cake that is, I believe it's two and a quarter of an inch. Let me see. Let me check this, recheck this for the video. Yeah, two and a quarter of an inch circle. I cut that out of this piece. And then for the closure of the um, doors, for this closure of this part, I use either like a big heart or, and in this case, I want to have a summer box. So I'm going to use a huge butterfly. And I want to uh, cut the butterfly out of that piece of paper. So I will do that off camera. Here it is cut out and I had to close my curtains because the sun is already starting to shine inside the house. It's 30 degrees um, in the Netherlands right now. It's beautiful weather. It's June. It's starting to get summery. I love it. I love this weather. Okay, then we have the leftover piece uh, from that. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the, uh, this It was the width of the paper. We are going to get a strip of three quarter of an inch by uh, my uh, A4 paper is uh, eight and a quarter and a letter size is a little bit bigger, I believe, but it is three quarters of an inch and we are going to cut that off because that is the inner circle that stops the cake. Uh, yeah, that stops the cake, that holds the cake. That is the box under the cake where you can put some money in. So we are going to cut that off. That was the first cut. We are going to make a second cut on this piece of paper, which is, I believe it was three inches from the other side. It is three inches. So you're going to cut that on three inches. So three quarters of an inch and three inches. Like so. That's the cuts you're going to make with that piece of paper. Well, you're going to make a few more cuts, but that's the first steps. Then we are going to, let me see what we are going to make. I have the lid. This is the second one. We are going to make an envelope. Okay. So you take, sorry, I'm, I try to be well organized here. <laughs> You're going to take the bigger piece, the three inch piece, and you are going to cut that off at this piece is going to be three inch by four inches. So you need a piece from this long piece. You take a piece three inch by four inches. Like so. That's this part. And with the part that is left, you can cut it at, let me just measure, and that's easier, three and a half. So from that long part, you took from eight and a quarter, you take four inches and then a three and a half inches. Like so. This one, again, is for text. And these are the two parts that are left over. And then your four inch part, we're going to do something with that. Three and a half, is that the half? 
Each part left. Yeah, I see. Okay. I score this one at half an inch from the side. There goes my uh, stuff. <laughs> you guys, I always work on this tiny little uh, piece of my desk. I don't know why that is. I start with uh, more than enough room to work on. And then I always end up on this tiny little piece. I don't know how that's happening. You score it from both sides half an inch. Like so. Half an inch and then you fold it over. Like so. And then you are left with a square. But what we are going to do with that square is cut it in half. So I'm going to cut the middle piece, only the middle piece of the square, you're going to cut diagonally in half. So what I do, I do it with by hand. I just uh, draw a line from one side to the other. Well, it's easier if I just lay it down like this, from one side to the other, like so. Draw a line and then I just cut it. You have to make sure the flaps are out, but then you just cut the middle like so. 